Hi guys, hello and welcome to another Java programming tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to convert temperatures from Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius back to Fahrenheit. We will accept input from user. We will be using console application to accept an input from user, but we will also see how you can accept an input from user in a dialog box. And again, you can take the same logic and take it to your Swing application or JavaFX application and take the input in a text box, process it in an event handler, and throw the output back in a label or in a text box. So again, in this example, as you can see over here, I have declared a, I've written down a formula in the Java form and I have written down a formula in the original form. Now, this formula may fail in Java. The reason is because when we say 5 divided by 9 in Java, since they're both integers and numerator is smaller than denominator, the final answer will be 0 and any number multiplied by 0 is 0. So it's always a good idea that in your formulas you should use a double data type. So it will do a type unifying type in Java, which is when a double gets divided by an integer or multiplied or added or subtracted, the final data type is always the larger of the two, which would be double in this case. So let's start by declaring the variables. We need two variables over here, the Celsius variable and the Fahrenheit variable. Once we do that, we need a scanner object. The scanner object to accept an input from user for, through the command prompt. So I am using scanner object which is found in the java.util package. Again, I've already given you a tutorial on how to accept an input from user using a scanner object. So you can visit the Java playlist to learn about the scanner object. In this example, we will just simply concentrate on accepting an input from user. So to accept an input from user, the very first thing I got to do is I need to give user some kind of a message that I want you to enter a value. Once I tell that to the user, I will use my Fahrenheit uh, variable and I'll call the input, which is my object of scanner type, to now accept a double value from user. So that's why I'll call the next double. After that, I need to simply use this formula that I've already wrote in the uh, comment section above, which will allow me to convert the value from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Now let me show you one trick over here in Eclipse. I'm using Eclipse IDE, so what I'm showing you right now only works in Eclipse. So I can type sys out as a shortcut and I can press and hold control and hit spacebar and it will complete it as system.out.println. And this is where I can write my entire message that temperature in Celsius is this much and it will write that for me. So here is my temperature in Celsius is and then it displays the output. Let's test this. As we know that 100 degrees Fahrenheit is 37.777. Again, you know, I've already given you tutorials on how to round, so I'm not rounding over here right now. I'm just showing you how this works. Let me run this again and let me enter negative 40. Negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to negative 40 degrees Celsius. Those are the only two, that's the only temperature on which both gives you the same output. Similarly, when I enter 32 degrees Fahrenheit, that is zero degrees Celsius, and that pretty much gives you some idea. Now, we can use something very similar when we are doing convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. So let me copy this. And let me go to C2F, and I'll paste it there. I still need the two declarations, one for C and one for F. My input will now say, please enter temperature in Celsius. And I will accept my input for Celsius to now calculate the Fahrenheit. I will convert one of the two numbers to type double for the same reason, unifying type and the temperature in Fahrenheit is F, okay? Now, let me run this to test. When I enter zero degrees Celsius, it tells me 32 degrees Fahrenheit. When I give it 
100 degrees Celsius, it gives me 212 degrees Fahrenheit, and so on and so forth. Now comes the question, okay, what if I want my input to come through a dialog box and my output to go out to a dialog box? That could be very easily done by simply, first of all, you can comment out these lines. How can you comment out these lines? You can do that manually or in Eclipse. You can go under source and you can toggle comment. Okay, that allows you to comment the lines that you have selected. You can always uncomment it back by selecting it and clicking the toggle button. You can also use the keyboard shortcut of control seven to do that. Anyway, I will now call double dot parse double. The reason I'm doing that because by default, the J option pane returns a value of type string, which cannot be assigned to C. So I will use the wrapper class double to convert that into an equivalent double value. So J option pane dot show input dialog. And I will use the same message right here that I have already had. And now for the output, I will use J option pane dot show message dialog. The first parameter is null because this dialog box is not associated with any window. The second parameter instead of args will be this message that I want to display in the dialog box. Then I will comment the output line. And now let me run this. Here you can see the dialog box pops up. And this is because of line 15. You can enter a value and you click OK, and here you go. You can see the output in the dialog box. Something very similar could also be done for the other program, which is to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make more videos. Um, and then I will also give you some more examples in the next tutorial with some more conversions so that you can get to see more than one example of conversion. Till then guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Take care, bye-bye.